You know, I don't understand this country. We have people dying overseas, people don't care. We have people starving in the richest country of the world. People dying of hunger every day, and people don't care. They don't care that their rights are being stepped on. They don't care that the money's being stolen from them. They don't care that their, that their ability to have even freedom is being stripped away from them each and every single day. And guess what? I am getting mad. I am pissed off at these idiots who just don't care. They care more about a scratch on their car than the person lying in the ditch because they didn't have any jobs. People who worry about a cut fingernail more than they care about that the fact that the people down the street can't eat because they can't find jobs. They don't care that the whole country's falling apart. You have Rick Santorum, who's talking like a crusader. Oh, the Crusades in the 1200s, wow, that did so much. It bankrupt nations. And that's what, the, that's what they're doing now. They're bankrupting our nation. They're selling the soul of America to China. They don't care whether you have to pay for it or not. They're sticking money in their pockets. And guess what? I don't care how much money they have, but quit taking it away from everyone else. I, people coming by saying, oh no thanks, I, I'm okay. What, they're okay with the way America is? They're okay that we're constantly going into debt? They're okay that, I mean, it's amazing. A team gets shot in Orlando over a law that someone abused. There was lots of wrong to go around, and get this, they got a million signatures to get the governor to do something, yet you all will not take and give me 2,298 signatures to be able to try and make things change. Now, I care about America, but you are making me feel like why should I even care when you don't even care about this country yourself. If you want to see change, you've got to take and make sure that it does change. You can't just stay on the sidelines and say, oh no, I'm not going to register to vote. You can't stay on the sidelines and say, oh, I'm registered, but I don't vote. I don't get involved in politics. Well, if you don't get involved in politics, then why the hell are you complaining when stuff goes wrong? If you don't vote, or if you don't register to vote, then you have absolutely no right whatsoever to even be in America. I mean, people die for you to be able to live here, yet you don't have enough sense to go down and register to vote and then vote to try and make sure that people take care of this country. I swear, I think the majority of Americans just want China to just take over the government because guess what? If we keep letting the government be if we keep letting the soul of America be sold off to China, that's exactly what's going to happen. China is going to wind up owning the entire United States. And then you're going to complain? Well, guess what? You won't have a right to complain because you didn't do anything to take and change it. You didn't take and register. You didn't take and vote. And you didn't take and sign a petition for a person who might want to take and represent you. Now, if you want someone to represent you, give me a reason why I should represent you. Give me a reason why I should care what's going on in your life. Give me a reason and sign a petition. Fill out a donation form. If you want to see change in America, you better take hold and do it now. Vote. Donate. Sign petitions. Do everything and anything that you can to make sure that the politicians that are in Washington do not strip you of your rights. Make sure that they stay out of your bedroom. Make sure that they stay out of your 
uterus. Make sure that they work for you and not the other way around. Do you want to be their slave? Keep voting them into office. If you want to live your own life, then put people in office who are going to care about you. I'm William Cleve Drummond II, and by God, I am proud of America. I'm an American citizen, and I'm trying to do my civic duty by trying to get on the ballot so that I can take and make a difference. Give me a reason why I should take and help you by helping me with a petition, helping me with a donation. Don't give me none of this. Oh, I'm fine. I'm okay. Oh, I don't want to register to vote. Oh, I don't vote. And don't give me, oh, I've got to talk to my family to see who I can vote for. Live your own life for a change and quit letting Washington live it for you.